we saw the if statement and in this video let us see about the if else statements the if statement was we write an if and the condition and based on whether the condition is true or not we execute a statement but if else comes into use when we want to do something else when the condition is not true when this condition is false we execute this part but if the condition is true we execute this else we'll execute this or in a better way we could say if we have an expression if that expression is true we execute some statements within the if block else we do something else other than the previous part so it comes in use like let's say you have temperature sensors installed in a room and you want that if the temperature is greater than 30 degrees you want to switch on a fan if it is less than 30 you want to make sure that the fan is off so we'll check here if temperature is greater than 30 we write the statements or the logic to switch on the fan else if the value of temperature is less than or equal to 30 we'll write the statements for switching off the fan let's see this in a program so i have a simple program written here where I take a number and check if the number is equal to 5. I'll print the statement, the number is equal to 5. Let's run this and see whether we are getting the statement or not. And we get it here. The number is equal to 5. But what happens if you want to print that the number is not equal to 5? In situations where it is actually not. So we'll write a else case. Else. Inside brackets, printf. the number is not equal to 5 so let's run this and see what happens when I run it I get the statement the number is 5 which is this statement that is because the condition of the expression which I have given here num is equals to is equals to 5 that is I'm checking if the number is equals to 5 we print the statement and the value of number is 5 sorry the value of num is 5 because we had given 5 here let's change it to some other value let's change it to 4 and see what happens let's run this and see so here i get the number is not equal to 5 because this expression that we have is num equals to 5 and the value of num is 4 so this is not true it's checking is 4 equals to 5 no it's not so this is not executed instead the execution jumps to this part of num to this part that the number is not equal to 5 and again like we had discussed in the previous video of if this is the block for if and this is the block for else so we can have multiple statements in either of the blocks Let's write another statement printf. I am inside the else part. Slash n. And let me write here a printf statement. I am inside the if part. let's build this program again okay so it's giving me an error here undefined reference to print so it is not able to find any reference to this this was a mistake but it's possible that i make another statement print and give some definition to it we'll see that when we discuss functions for now this is wrong and we have to correct it and make it printf I write this and I have multiple statements executed inside the else part. Now if I change it back to 5, build it, so we have this. 
Now in a program, it's not necessary that we can have only one if else condition. We can have multiple ifs, multiple else conditions. I can write another if, let's say if num equals to 6. I want to print something, printf. The number is 6 slash n. I can have one more if statement if num equals 7 printf the number is 7. Let's see how it behaves. I'll execute this and what do I see? I see that it's coming only till this part. The number is equal to 5 and this statement because none of the other statements are true. The value of num is 5. So this condition is satisfied. This is executed. This is not satisfied. So this part is not executed. This is not satisfied and this part is also not executed. Now if I change it to some value other than let's say I'll make it 6. When I run it, what I get is, I first get this part, the number is equal to 5 because num value is 6 and 6 equals to 5 comparison is false. So it comes to else part and then the execution comes here and this execution path we are checking if the number is equal to 6. It is equal to 6, it prints the statement and then here if it is equal to 7. No, it's not. So it's not printing the statement. Now for each of these, we can give an else part as well. Printf number is not equal to 7. Sorry, 6. And I will copy a similar else part for this. I make it 7. So when I run this, we had given the value of num is 6. So this statement is not true and it comes to the else part and these statements are executed which we can see here. Then it comes to this if num equals to 6, yes. So the number is 6, the line is printed and this is not printed. Then we check number equals to 7, no. So this is not printed and it goes to the else part and the line is printed. Of course the way we have written it is not a good way to check whether the number is equal to some value or not because this is really crude. I am checking here if it's equal to 5 then I am checking here if it's equal to 6 if it equals to 7. Instead of writing multiple if else statements what happens here is it checks for 5 and then it checks for 6 and then again for 7. So here the thing is we will first check whether the number is equal to 5. If this is true it won't bother checking the else part. When this condition is not true then it will check for the else part. It first checks this. If false then it checks this. Now the problem is if we have multiple if statements all the if statements will get executed. What I mean by this is, if it is getting executed and then this is also getting executed to check whether it is true or not. So if I get num equals to 5, I mention 5 here. If I give the value 5, it will check and this is true. But again when the execution comes here, it again checks for this condition, whether it is true or not. Of course there can be better logics in implementing it, but we are just checking how if else works. Next, we'll see if, else if and else part with the same example where we don't have to write multiple if else statements for checking the same value. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Do not forget to like and drop a comment. They are huge motivations. Subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to never miss any update.
bye and see you soon in the next video